New Guinea, we had somebody mostly switched over to spam. <laughs> Just, the Army bought an awful lot of spam. <laughs> But uh, we had some guys that were cooking, and they cook, they were in our unit, and they we, they set up a mess, and some of them, they did pretty good, really. I wasn't too fussy about it. I ate most anything. <laughs> you said there was a lot of real hot, humid weather. I guess did they have oh, yeah, rainy it was pretty season? Hot. Yeah, it was pretty hot weather. It was it was tropics. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. But it was nice over there. I, I enjoyed the tropics, so I, it was my kind of weather. I could handle that real well. How high were the mountains on those islands? Oh, uh, I'd say they were probably not any higher than some of the hills here. They weren't like snow capped or anything, but they were they were fairly high. I don't know how many feet it was, but uh, they were pretty high. Yeah. Have you gotten back there? Since oh no, never no, did you I, haven't back been, no I haven't been back over there. No, it would have been nice to do, but I hadn't had an opportunity to do that. <laughs> When the bomb was dropped, was there any thoughts or anticipation from anybody amongst the ranks anywhere that that might be used as a strategy or a I don't think that, that so, you John. ever thought of? There's Not a... to my knowledge, because time we heard it, we didn't hear it like that. We just heard that they had dropped a, an atomic bomb. Of course, nobody knew what an atomic bomb mm -hmm. was and, or realized the devastation it could cause. See? So, mm -hmm. no, I didn't hear any of that. Most people just sort of accepted it and we'll see what kind of see what happens next you know? mm -hmm. yeah. do you have anything else that you want to add that we haven't covered that you stories or anything that you well we covered a lot but there's well, let me see, see. I, I'll tell you one interesting thing this doesn't do anything but do to the war but on Mendora we were about 10 or 15 miles north of San Jose and we were short out in the boonies and of course, we were camouflaged with the radar, and we could track and hear the planes down in San Jose when they go in to flight the jets. But periodically, someone had to go to down to San Jose to take the mail and get the different supplies or whatever. So at one one of those trips, I I, I was the guy that went, and uh, and you have to walk because there was no roads. It was all it was all hiking, and uh, as you go along the coast where the streams would uh, drain into the ocean. It was a swampy area, and it was mud, it was black mud, and it was quite deep. You couldn't begin to walk through it. So how did you get around that? You'd either have to take a boat and get it out in the ocean. But what we did, they had water buffaloes over there called carabao. They're huge animals, and they use them to domesticate them. They use them like other animals in this country. And so we had some Filipino kids would go along with these carabaos. We get on the carabao and ride it through these muds because they could go lunging through that soft mud like a tank. <laughs> but if you fell off, you'd probably never get up. But I did that. I, that. I found that to be very interesting that one time. And when I, of course, we had to stay overnight in San Jose and stayed with some Filipino people down there who invited us to do that and slept on the floor with pillows. But it was kind of, it was kind of interesting. All these things, all this was an experience. All, all the good stuff was an experience when you get separated from the dangerous part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that, that's kind of interesting. I thought that sure. was interesting. Yeah. I never did that again either. <laughs> <laughs> did most of your mail come by ship? Uh, well, I assume like I assume it did, Ken. I don't know. It was just an APO number. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't know how it got there. I, I don't know if they flew much of it over. Or you had to keep it uh, as light as possible. Mm -hmm. I knew that. But, uh, and of course all the mail we generated had to be censored. So Mary would get letters with holes cut in them. <laughs> but, um, could you tell from the date on when the letter was written as to how, how long, long it took, took to get you I probably to could, but I don't remember. Yeah, it, I'm sure month. it took a while. Oh, it took yeah. a long time, I'm sure. I'm sure it did, yeah. Well, we certainly want to thank you, Mr. McGraw, well, for your listen, story you. and for well, your service. Well, I thank service. you guys for so, listening. <laughs> no, it's our, it's our pleasure. pleasure. Believe thank us. you. Thank you very much. Well, I thank you. Appreciate it. I hope I've helped you something. I, uh, before you came, I kept thinking.
what are you going to do with this? <laughs> but I think Ken told me. Yes. Yeah. Every, every story is fascinating in its it own is. way. It yeah. really is. We well, learn sure, something about I'm history. Sure there's a lot of other things I can think of if I started sitting down to think yeah. about it. Because mm -hmm. I was there a long time and yeah. went through a lot of things. Yeah. Do you have any scrapbook pic pictures? Oh, no. I tell you, before we came over here, I had a lot of mementos and things, but we moved out and I had to clean out the house. And This place is so little, <laughs> I don't have much left. Yeah. I did write up something. I'll give you a copy of it. Okay. I wrote That'd up something for my kids. They were, they were bugging me recently about, why don't you write some of this down? Because mm -hmm. we, we never heard it. So I, 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 I'll send that to the Library of Congress. So. Okay. Yeah, right. we've got a manuscript from that other okay. veteran. What a wonderful project it is, the Library of Congress, the Veterans oh, yeah. I mean, to do this, to it is. preserve these literally tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of stories. Yeah, well, I think it is wonderful yeah, that they're really doing is. that. Yeah, exactly. it really do. Yeah, then your kids, too, and oh, you can sure, get you a copy sure. of this. Oh, yeah. You know, get copies yeah, well, I appreciate getting a copy of yeah. what you what you all doing here. And I'm sure your kids will enjoy that, oh, too. Oh, I'm sure they will. Because yeah. it is a, yeah. a living legacy. I wrote him a letter every day he was over there. Yes, she did. Oh. She wrote a letter every, every day. day. She wrote one every day I was over there. No, I'm not sure I got them all. But yeah, they, did you get them in like bunch, bunches, like you get 10 or 20 at a time? Yeah. 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 Oh, I wish we would have time for that. Marvel at a hobbit head. Well, shall we tell him what I sent you? <laughs> yeah. I don't care. <laughs> every day, huh? Every day. Every day. What'd you say? Wow. A letter. Well, no. I. I don't know how come he to do it. That was a long time ago. But I sent him a, one of my night one let one of my nylon. She sent she sent me two of her nylons, but one of them didn't make it. I only got one. So the guys really gave me a hard time about that. <laughs> Talk about I gotta go find a good one legged gook. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> Not easy. <laughs> and, and I got that when I was in the hospital with hepatitis. I had hepatitis in, in the late day, and I wound up in a 76 station hospital, which was a group out of Pennsylvania. And, but I had hepatitis, and I don't know where I got it. it. Was all they called it was infectious hepatitis. So I don't know what kind of hepatitis it was. But fortunately, I recovered from that. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I had my star flag in the window. Uh, you were in my home mm -hmm. every day, huh? Oh so, uh, yeah. And I'm sure I you saved every letter, day. didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, yeah. I wish I could have, but no, yeah, I don't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Well, what was that like when you when you got to meet? Where did you meet? Was it when you came back home? Where did you first? The office. My office. Oh, I don't think it was there. But it, was it? I don't know where we met. You, you got off the train. In New well, you lived right. She lived almost across the street from me. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> got off the train in Newport and okay. came to, I worked at a finance company in Newport, fin, fin, family finance, mm -hmm. made loans, made mm -hmm. loans. And he got off the train, I was just two blocks from the train, and he walked over to the my office when he came home, and I was really surprised. I bet. So you didn't know he was coming home that day, huh? No. Yeah, I'm surprised, <laughs> yeah. I bet you were well, surprised. Anyway, it was an experience. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure, sure these guys coming home from Iraq are going through all yes. kinds of things now. Yeah. You know. yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry for yeah. it. Yeah, it's horrible what's going on. Yes, it is horrible. They have to and it's a darn shame that uh, we couldn't have uh, had a better approach than yes. what we did over there. Yeah. 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 But again, that was... Well, thank you very much. Well, you're quite welcome, Tom. Welcome very, to interesting. Yeah. very interesting. Very interesting. We've been doing it. Ken's been doing a bunch of these. John and I have, and we just hooked up with Ken a couple of weeks ago. And, well, good. Uh, these together. I didn't right. see any of them, though. They were, I think a lot of them I think, they shipped I think out Dr. Powlite was in yes, that the Canmore yes, yes, yeah, he was. He was in that. No, I didn't see yeah. any of those. Yeah, he uh, actually, Dr. Powlite was my eye doctor. And was he? We uh, just had our World War II exhibit at uh, Behringer, which I wish we would have got you earlier. You should have come up there. It, would have been, it was we just closed it down two weeks ago. Well, I was there. I saw. Oh, were you there? I, was, I was over there. We okay. came over one day and looked and saw that. All right. My great, daughter took good. me over and Mary yeah. and we went in there and looked, walked all through it. So yeah. we got a chance to see that. Good. Yeah, we had Dr. Pilate's uh, one of his uniforms. Yes, I believe you right. did. Yeah. I saw that over yeah, there. Yeah, and I so. had great opportunity. Well, I, Dr. Pilate Jr. was also uh, my doctor, my eye doctor after Dr. Pilate Sr. kind of somewhat retired. Uh -huh. We went over to his house and brought the stuff. I was one of me and another guy went and brought some of his, picked up the stuff 
the uniform and some of his medals and brought them up. And that was just a neat experience too. Just, yeah. You know, <laughs> well, you know, well, I told you when we moved over here, I just cleaned out everything and, was, and yeah. told the kids to take what they wanted yeah. and dispersed it. And I know my, my son got all my combat ribbons. I Good. gave all those to him. <laughs> At so, least somebody's got that stuff. Oh, I, yeah, I yeah. thought we'll keep it in the family. Yeah, <laughs> well, for sure. That's, that's historical. Oh, yeah. It gets passed down. So. Yeah. All righty.